Good afternoon now. I'm just uh, in Cumber and I'm up beside First Cumber Presbyterian Church and I'm beside Windmill Hill. And uh, I'm on, in a lane uh, leading to the non-subscribing Presbyterian Church, so it's sited beside the Presbyterian Church. I'm particularly interested in this uh, notice board here. This uh, church and graveyard has particularly uh, strong connections to the Andrews family because Thomas Senior and Elizabeth and the Lizzie Peary married in the church in 1870 and all their family except Thomas who lost his life when the Titanic uh, sank are interred in the church burying ground down in here. The Andrews gravestone there bears the inscription an inscription of his memory and the church windows, there are three windows in the church erected to the memory of the Andrews family members entitled Peace, Love and Charity. Thomas Jr's brother William commissioned the window love and dedicated to his mum uh, Eliza Peary. It shows her with all her children. Willie's love of cricket can be seen in the window and there's uh, the window. And this is the uh, magnificent frontage edifice of, uh, first of the non-subscribing Presbyterian church here with a date on it of 1838, although I don't believe it was opened until uh, 1840 because of damage sustained when a windmill uh, fell and damaged it. Uh, but uh, very, very solid looking uh, sort of, is that Grecian type architecture? Uh, I'm not too sure. But just down below, and I'm trying to stand out of the rain, not, I'm trying to stand out of the wind, is the uh, Andrews Perry uh, Memorial, that black one, just here. The black uh, granite, is it granite memorial? And this is the Andrews Memorial uh, Grave Monument. This was Thomas and Eliza Andrews, and they were the mum and dad of Thomas Andrews, who sailed with the Titanic and had uh, a hand, a good hand, in her construction and planning. Thomas Andrews lost at sea in the foundering of the SS Titanic, April 1912. Pure, just, generous, affectionate and heroic. He gave his life that others might be saved. And mentions the right Honourable Sir James Andrews Bart, Lord Chief Justice of Northern Ireland, 37 to 51. 